Hello, in this video we will solve problem 4.8 from study group. So we are asked to use superposition here to find V0. V0 is this voltage in this node relative to the ground. And because we are asked to use superposition, we need to divide this into several steps. So the first step will be turn off. Okay, turn off the 9 volt voltage source and the second step will be turn off the 3 volt voltage source and the last step we need to do is to add up the result of 1 and 2. Okay, let's do the first step. So, we need to turn off the 9 volt voltage source. So, we need to replace this by short circuit. So, we need to replace the 9 volt voltage source into short circuit. Okay, let's just write that. Okay, let me copy the circuit first. Okay, I will select this and let's copy it here. Okay, okay I, I have the copy of the circuit here. Okay, now we need to turn off this one, so I will replace it by short circuit. So I just erase this and hopefully that is clear for you. So we replace this by short circuit. So now we have this V0. Let's rename this as V0 prime because it's different than V0 here. So I will need to do analysis at this node. So I will use KCL at node V0 prime. Okay, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, let's assume that this current here going to the left, this current here going down, and this current from here going to the left. And remember that this is 3 volt voltage source, so we can conclude that the voltage here, the node voltage here is equal to 3 volt. Okay, now let's get back to the KCL. Okay, the sum of the current that goes in, the only current that goes in into this V0 prime node is this one that going to the left. And the value is this node minus this node divided by the resistance between them. Okay, so I will have 3 minus V0 prime divided by 1 and that will equal to this current that going down which is V0 prime minus 0 divided by 3 ohm the resistance between this node and the ground and then plus the resistance that going through this resistance that is going to the left so I will have V0 divided by 4 plus 5 which is 9 so let's multiply both sides by 9 so I will have 27 minus 9 not 3 9 V0 prime that will equal to this is 3 V0 prime plus this will cancel the 9, so I will have V0 prime. So let's isolate the V0 prime. So I will have 27 is equal to 13 V0 prime. Or V0 prime is equal to 27 divided by 13. Or V0 prime is equal to 
that will be 2 point something but let's use calculator 27 divided by 13 is this value okay let's just copy this can we paste that here oh no okay let's just rewrite that then so i will have 2.0769 for v0 prime okay this is our first value that we have found so now we need to do the second step here so we have done the first step we need to turn off the 3 volt voltage source okay let's do that the second step is turn off the 3 volt voltage source by turning off i mean making it short circuit because it is a voltage source okay so now let's copy the circuit again and let's paste that and all we need to do is replace this 3 volt voltage source by short circuit okay now let's rename this v0 as v0 double prime so i will need to do kcl at v0 double prime Okay, let's assume the direction of the current. First, I will assume this going to the left, this going up, and this going to the right. Okay, and remember that this node here is 9 volt from the ground, so that is 9 volt. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one so i will have 9 minus v0 double prime divided by 3 ohm so this current here and then the current that goes out is this one that going to the left and to the right so i will first calculate that current that going to the left so i will have v0 double prime divided by 4 plus 5 which is 9 plus v0 double prime divided by 1 ohm here okay we can multiply both sides by 9 so i will have 27 minus 3 v0 double prime is equal to v0 double prime plus 9 v0 double prime and we can isolate v0 double prime so i will have 27 is equal to 13 v0 double prime the value is the same as v0 prime so i can just rewrite that so v0 prime v0 double prime is equal to 2.07695 okay we now have v0 prime and we now have v0 double prime so to find out v0 here we can just add up v0 prime and v0 double prime okay now let's add up so i will have v0 is equal to v0 prime plus v0 double prime and v0 c0 prime is 2.0769 and v0 double prime is 2.0769 and i will have
the value of it is okay so we'll have v0 is 4 point 15384 okay this is our final answer to this problem so hopefully i did not make any mistake in the calculation so this is the final answer and let me know if i did make any mistakes in the calculation in the comments uh, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you